Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Colony Survival. I'm here with the other guy. And we're just going to keep screwing around trying to build up our, our base and <coughs> working on getting some more colonists. <coughs> so I think I want to try and continue working on the house area and make sure it's all finished up and looking nice. Because it looks pretty okay now. Yep, we got a roof and everything. I should probably do is just up here make it instead of doing this like having a, a wall here with a middle I should just combine the two <coughs> yeah cuz I think that'll I think that'll be just fine And then instead of having <coughs> um, a big uh, entrance on the sides, two of them, we can do just one in the middle. And we have a bunch of windows. Cool. The landscape looks pretty nice. <clears throat> there we go, we finished up the house. We just need more beds, which we do have five. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, looks like we started placing already. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, this side's full and the other side's full. Up there, we just need to put stuff in there. Cool. So we got that done. Nice. We'll have to add some sort of a roof to make it look better. How's the maze coming? Haha, <coughs> 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 ha, very funny. Um, no, it's okay. It does look quite fun. That'll give us plenty of time to kick the zombies' butts. Alright, so what do we got going on for science? Bronze Anvil, we've got Taylor, and we got Cook that we're working on. So we need fish, firewood. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> so are these two water bucket dudes, or are they fishermans? He's a water gatherer. So let's get. Fisherman. We we'll get two of those. Because <coughs> I think that'll be good. And then a okay, recruit to fill the jobs. Because <coughs> we've got we've got. Some decent food going on. <clears throat> yeah, we got 30 buckets of water, geez. 55 firewood. Uh, I'm gonna wait until we get 1500 colony points to upgrade our uh, colony point efficiency. Because I think that'll be <clears throat> the best next step 
for colony point usage. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Since we're early game right now, this will be okay. Later it should be extended. Because the way we are now, if we make it too big, it'll take absolute ages for the zombies to actually arrive. So I think that's okay where it is now. I'm actually going to make a flax farm, because we need flax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, dirt. Oh, 5,000 dirt, jeez. I need one more. Okay. Alright. It's night time, so prepare to hold off the invasion. How many dudes did we want to get to in this first season? <clears throat> okay. So we're about a quarter of the way there. I think we want I think we wanted to do a hundred. Great. All, all you had to say was, okay, yeah. Instead you had to put up some opposition, so now we have to go back and look. It would also be a lot shorter, which was my thinking. So I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, we have a flax farm now. eventually what will happen is we'll start doing a um, our massive towers into the sky of wheat and stuff which is why we need so much dirt that will certainly be a time but that makes it so that space is conserved a lot better we will need space for many, many things the further we progress. Yep, because I just got one for the flax farm. Because we need flax in order to get linen. I also got a new mouse, which I absolutely love. It's amazing. I've never had a gaming mouse before, so I finally bought one, and oh my, it is awesome.
it's already pretty heavy, which is quite different from what I'm used to. Because, um... I actually took them all out. Yeah. Because I wanted to see if it was still pretty heavy without the weights. And it's still decently heavy. But, like, there was 18... I, the weights that came with it is 18 grams. Which is decently heavy for something you're just picking up with your hand. Uh, I did. I, I Grams are American. That's what we measure drugs in, remember? Can't argue with that assessment. That's also what we measure, like, a lot of our daily nutrients and stuff in. See two parallels. So, like, how much is a gram? Small. It's about that much. I don't know how much a gram is, but holding 18 grams in your hand is, like, still a decent amount of weight. It's not like, oh, I'm a power lifter now, heavy. It's like, ah. That's a little heavier than it was. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty wonky. Is that pounds? Yeah. Well, a pound is about that much. And you weigh about that many pounds. They're four pounds. Haha, ha, funny. Do we have bronze? Are we making bronze? <laughs> Just met with extreme silence after that. Extremely disappointed in you. Uh-huh. And like, how much is an ounce? There's 16 ounces in a, in a pound. I think. I don't remember. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Oh, we need... We need to make a bronze thing. I know 100 pounds is kind of heavy. But like, I have no idea how much, in perspective, 1 pound is. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we need to make one furnace. Put that a top priority so it gets done. We can probably lay off on the buckets a little bit. For now. I'll put it to 10, but second priority. So we need more copper. How many miners do we have? We have one miner. That explains a lot. We have one copper miner. Which is, explains why we don't have a whole lot of copper. Almost to 20 colonists. Nice. I'm going to start staircasing up and making our um, wheat tower so we can get more, more wheat here. 
because we are going to need it here soon. Why? Because it looks nice. Why can't you just leave it? Well, A, I have nothing else to do. And B, because it looks nice. Bruh. Oh shoot, I messed up the last block. <laughs> I'm going to extend the wall in this back corner just a little bit. If you need that one big spawn inside? No, like, I'm extending it upwards. Oh. Makes sense. I'm only doing it so that the, um, colonists don't accidentally fall out somehow. That takes skill. Well, let's not test it, because I'm pretty sure they can't, but I'd rather not find out. <laughs> One of your colonists has died. Excuse me? When did that happen? <laughs> Another one of your colonists, and oh no! They've decided to revolt and just started killing themselves. <laughs> Instead of leaving out of the, you know, front door that we were required to have, otherwise uh, they all get uh, extremely angry and eat like five times the amount of food. Since all the food is made internally. Apparently everybody becomes instantly hungry in a siege. Yet they still find a way. Okay. Almost done with the wheat farm. This will put us up to 21 colonists. We'll have broken the kind of first barrier. We're only four away from a quarter of our goal, or half of our goal, depending on what our goal was. Exactly. Oh yeah, that's right, all this middle stuff is actually brick. It's nice, that's, that's one of the things I do like about this game. There's no tile drops. There's negative two unemployed because I made two new people, or uh, I made two new jobs. We've got a negative unemployed. 
disappointment. We've set a record. Yeah. Cause that's such a good thing. Negative employment's just as bad as positive unemployment. Cause that means... Yeah, cause that means you have too much, not enough people to do everything you need. Mm -hmm. And then the positive unemployment means you have too many jobs for not enough people. You just said the same thing over again. Did I? Yes. You said positive unemployment. Oh, I meant, I meant, I meant too many people and not enough jobs. Yeah, that's true. But tech, I don't think they count as um, unemployed. I think the the true definition of unemployed is um, willing, able, and putting in the effort to get a job. The people that are not willing, able, or and putting in the effort, I, d I don't think they're actually counted as unemployed. That's that's something you learn in like AP Econ or Gov or whatever I think. That was really weird. I never understood why. Yeah, yeah, it's the actively seeking work part. That's. And able to take a job. Yeah, that's pretty. I think that's pretty much what I said. I just said it a little differently. I said willing, able, and then actively seeking. You can't, you basically, you just can't be sitting on your butt. Yeah. You can't be all Larry over there, not wanting to try anything. You can't claim unemployment if you're not the only one. Mm-hmm. We're almost out of zombies. Once we finish this night, we will probably end this episode. Because we got quite a few more colonists. We actually, what, jumped up like four colonists? Four or five? And we've made some pretty decent progress. Kill this last zombie over here. Alright, well... That is all we're going to do for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.